Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a minute. Not too long, but excuse how I sound. I'm sick. I have been sick for like almost two weeks. Um, anyways, that's irrelevant. So this video probably won't be edited. Um, I might edit it a little bit, but I'm definitely not gonna have my intro um, because I just got a new phone and all my stuff is on my other phone and I've been having trouble with AT&T trying to get it onto this phone. So yeah, anyways, I just wanted to make this video about um, being RH negative and it really only affects you when you're pregnant and they test you for it because apparently it's becoming more and more common and my mother did not have it, but my sister and I have it. So, um, it's most likely that we got it from our dad because men can carry that, um, gene and it obviously doesn't affect them because they don't carry children. Um, anyways, if you are RH negative, you do know that you have to get a shot and I got one in the hospital when I went um, in for bleeding towards the beginning of my pregnancy. Um, they gave me one because they had said, you know, you're RH negative, you need this shot. And I got it. So anyways, I apparently need it again, like now, or I've heard um, I was supposed to get it at 28 weeks, which never happened. So, um, yeah i need the shot and i've just had so much trouble trying to get it first of all my doctor does not carry it and you know to me a doctor that cares for pregnant women should have a shot like that um because it's a common thing it's not like very rare or something that nobody has it's it's pretty common nowadays and um so they don't carry it and they told me my insurance wouldn't cover it and they said it's a necessity so insurance should cover it but they don't and they told me i could go to the hospital outpatient area or whatever and they would sell me the shot for 75 dollars now financially i'm not in the best situation and you know I've been waiting to get enough money to pay $75 for a shot that I need so I called my insurance today and they said they needed a uh, procedure code which I had no idea what that was they said I could get it from my doctor or I could have my doctor call them so I made a post on Facebook in this group that I'm in asking if anybody knew, you know, if my insurance covered it and all of that. Some of them said they had the same insurance and it was covered and some of them said they had the same insurance and it wasn't covered. So I got a code from somebody on there and I called my insurance back and they said it was the wrong code because it was um, a diagnosis code or something, but she still ended up looking it up and she called my doctor and got the actual code and anyways, long story short, she finally found out that um, they do cover it. It's under my maternity care on their insurance. And she said I could go to Walgreens and get it from them. Uh, she said that they would um, actually even give me the shot. So I was like, great, finally I got some answers. Well, she said I need to call the Walgreens Alliance or whatever because it's a special prescription. And I called them and they said they don't take care of that and they directed me to CVS Caremark. And then they then directed me to Walgreens Alliance again. So, um, I just, I'm so frustrated. Like, it's just a shot that I need. I don't know why I have to go through all these hoops just to get it like it's not like i'm choosing to get the shot and i don't really need it i actually really need it 
in order for my baby to come out healthy and for my future pregnancies to be healthy. So that being said, um, when my fiance gets home, we're going to go to Walgreens and see if they have it. I pray to God that they do. And if they don't, I'm going to ask if they can order it because uh, that's like my last chance. Like, I don't know where else I would get it. Like, my insurance covers it. Um, I could try to go to the hospital, I guess. Um, the outpatient thing my doctor told me about, but I don't know. I really don't know. And I'm just like at a loss and it's very aggravating and annoying that I have to go through all this. And um, my sister had said, you know, they just told her she was RH negative, explained to her what it was, what it means. And um, they said, you know, basically you need this shot and we're gonna give it to you. That was the end of it. She didn't have to do any of the stuff that I'm having to do because her doctor had it there and they gave it to her. And her insurance covered it, which she at the time had the same insurance as me. So, I don't understand. My insurance said they cover it, so my doctor gave me false information saying they don't cover it. Um, but they said yes, it's medically necessary, so they do cover it um, under my maternity care on their insurance. Which makes sense, you know, like why wouldn't they cover it? But he just said, you know, insurances don't cover that and um, you have to buy it. And he said that you can't really buy it from a pharmacy because they make you buy in bulk or, you know, something. I don't know. But I'm just, like, I shouldn't have to be stressing out about this. Like, my doctor should carry it. They care for pregnant patients. You should carry the damn shot. Like, I don't understand why they don't. And even their um, office in Leesburg, because the village is, like, old people... Um, if you're from Florida, you know, um, so I figured, you know, maybe, maybe they don't have as many pregnant patients that go to that office. So I called Leesburg, they don't carry it either. And it's just really, really confusing to me because, um, he had told me like over 30% of his pregnancy patients have RH negative and they need the shot. So why don't they carry it? You know, like your patient should not have to sit here and jump through hoops and call these different people, call their insurance, you know, call the doctor and um, all the call around on where to get the shot. Like, it's just so annoying and aggravating. Like, I shouldn't have to do all this. Like, it should just be a simple thing. Yes, you're RH negative. We have the shot here. We can give it to you. Or we can order it or something like that. To me, a doctor should be able to order that. I mean, it's a medical shot like I don't understand but if you have RH negative and you've had a similar situation happen to you where you had to do all this stuff and it was like really complicated let me know because I'm just I feel like I'm the only one in this which um a couple people on the Facebook post said that yeah you know it was complicated and they had a fight with their insurance, which I didn't really have to do. Like, they just said, yeah, you're covered. It's medically necessary. You know, it's a necessity and um, we cover it. So I just really, really don't know. And I'm just um, really upset about it. Like, I don't know. But hopefully when I go to Walgreens, it can be smooth sailing and they could be like, yeah, we don't have it here, but we can order it for you and administer it or you can take it to your doctor and they can give it to you and that'll be the end of it, you know? And then I need another one after I have her as well. Um, so I don't know. It's just very, very confusing and aggravating and I just hope I get some answers uh, from Walgreens. If I don't, then I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've literally been on the phone with different people all day trying to figure this out. And it's just a very aggravating process. And I really wish that I didn't have to do it. But like I said, it's a necessity. And I have to. It's not my choice. I didn't choose to have this blood type. Um, I was born this way. Uh, I can't really help it. So... Yeah, I just wish it wasn't so complicated. And for anybody else, if you have RH negative and you're pregnant, I hope you don't have to go through this. 
And if you do, like, try to figure it out before, like, you actually need the shot. Because I've heard you need it at 28 weeks, which I'm way past that. So, hopefully that doesn't cause any problems. I don't know. But, um, yeah, just definitely figure it out if you have it. Like, get a blood test taken, like, in the beginning of your pregnancy. See if you have it. If you do, figure out where you get the shot. If your doctor doesn't carry it, and then go from there. That way you don't have to stress at the very end like I'm doing. And it's, trust me, it's not fun. Um, but, yeah. Thank you for watching my little rant video and I will do an update video if you guys would like um, telling you how I get the whole situation figured out and resolved. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe and um, you can continue to watch me on my journey. Um, my daughter will be on this channel whenever I have her and um, I'm gonna do a nursery tour type thing whenever I get that situated, which we have her crib up, we have her bassinet and everything. I just need to get everything like really, really organized and then I'll be able to um, show it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe and join my family of little subscribers. Um, we're over a hundred now, which is, amazing and yeah just continue to show me love and support if you uh want to uh please don't be negative <laughs> um because this is a really bad subject for me because like i'm just so angry inside about this whole situation that like please please just be nice to me in the comments and like i said if you can relate let me know if you know any answers about any of this let me know because i like i said i'm at a loss and i just really need advice and help and all that bull crap so all right well i will see you guys in my next video bye